wanted to put makeup on before I started recording, but I feel terrible, so it's not in the cards today. Um, as you can see, I'm super swollen, all in my sinus cheek and jaw area. So over the weekend, sorry, I can't even like open my mouth. Um, over the weekend on Sunday, I got such bad tooth pain. I was like ready to pull out my tooth because I was just miserable and like nothing was helping me. I was like, I gotta take this tooth out. Like clearly something's wrong. The dentist isn't open till Monday. Like I have to go all day today and hope that they can get me in on Monday. Well, yesterday was Monday and they got me in and I told the dentist, I'm like, I don't care what you have to do. Like, just please make me feel better. My face is swollen. My whole mouth hurts. Like I can't eat. I can't talk. I can't drink. My dentist is like, don't worry. We're gonna take care of you. Let's do a scan and see what's going on in here. And it turns out I don't even have a toothache. My teeth are okay. I have the sinus infection from hell. So when I left my dentist, he gave me hardcore antibiotics that's just supposed to knock this out of my system. Um, I was shocked <laughs> that my tooth was fine because I really thought that's where my source of pain was coming from. And I don't feel sick, like I haven't been congested or blowing my nose a lot or my ears haven't bothered me or anything. So I was kind of shocked to find out it was just a really bad sinus infection. Um, but I got home and I filled my prescription and I took my first dose and like laid down and I didn't instantly feel better, but I felt better. Like I wasn't just crying all day long. And so I thought I'd be fine to work my trip tomorrow, Wednesday. So I got up to start prepping for everything and there's no way I can go to work. I, like I feel better, it's not a constant throb, but like my face is so swollen and uncomfortable. And my, oddly enough, like my tooth still hurts. I know he said it's the pressure from in my sinuses is like pushing on the nerves of my teeth. Um, that's bothering me, but I called out, I called off my trip. I always hate doing that. But I know like any, any sort of sinus infection when you're flying is terrible or if your ears are plugged or whatever, and mine aren't, but and for a minute, I thought I'd be able to work. I can't even go grocery shopping. Like I can't even shower. So one of my coworkers is picking up this trip for me and she's supposed to be flying from here to LA Friday overnight, actually double overnight, and then come back on Sunday. So I told her if I'm feeling better, I'll gladly take that trip from her. Obviously I need to be flying. What else am I supposed to talk to you guys about? Um, and then my trip that she took. So I was supposed to be going from here to Oakland, California and have a little sit and then fly back East Coast and overnight in Boston. And then the next day was easy, just one leg home. So that's a trip I'm not on anymore. Luckily for me, she willingly took it. She said she'll even work the Saturday trip if I'm not feeling better. Um, I know they have a baby on the flight on Saturday. And like I said, like I'm not sick, I have a sinus infection, but I also just might not even be cleared to work that flight on Saturday. So I'll keep you guys posted. So I just told you how I feel bad about calling in sick and I sat down to read the news on my phone and all I am getting are stuff about low performers and firing an employee. The job guilt today is real and no one is making me feel guilty. My coworker was more than happy to pick it up. She said, absolutely. She didn't hesitate or try to come up with any excuse or anything. She even told me if I don't wanna work the Saturday trip and just take more time, that's fine too. She'll work both the trips, but I always just feel really bad if I have to call off of a trip. I never felt this bad doing it at the airlines because they put you through a lot. But now I feel bad. But legit, I, I cannot go to work like this. Like, I'm a disaster. I shouldn't even be talking to you guys like this.
I'm finally feeling a little better. These definitely helped. Johnny got me some beautiful roses on the day that I felt like super crummy. They're a few days old now, so obviously they're not as perky, but they're still nice. They make my kitchen look happy and friendly when my green onions are dying. They bring life back. Hello, good morning. I just wanted to check in with you guys because it's been a few days, um, but really I've done nothing. My tooth pain has subsided a lot, which is good. Like it still hurts. I can't eat food on that side, on the left side of my mouth, um, which is so weird considering like I shouldn't have a toothache. The dentist said I was fine, but I'm also feeling like sinus pressurey and Today's Thursday, and I think the first time I felt it was yesterday on Wednesday. So like almost a week into the whole process, I'm starting to feel what I actually have. So I've been taking it really easy. Uh, there's been good TV on. I did a Vanderpump Rules Marathon. Actually, I'm really excited about this. During the Vanderpump Rules Marathon, I took like a break from that to get on social media and Stassi posted um, like her upcoming tour dates and she's coming to New York in April. So me and my sister Katie are gonna go, we bought tickets. So I'm super excited about that. That like helped me feel a little bit better. And Johnny's been taking really good care of me too. He picked up soup, he's eaten soft foods with me. He's very kind and attentive. So yeah, just a bunch of reality TV has gone on. Yesterday, I caught up on the Goop Lab Netflix docu-series. It's about Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay, Diana just called my mom. Everyone say hi, Diana. I know you guys are good at doing that. Uh, so I forgot where we were. I think I was just filling you in on all of the trash TV that I watched. And I got a lot of kitty cuddles. I got my Stassi tickets. Uh, I got some nice flowers. Yeah, basically I did nothing for three days in a row besides lay on the couch. So today I'm trying to be a little more productive, not feeling a hundred, like I said earlier, I still feel stuff in my sinuses, but I am not in excruciating pain. Like I can talk, I can move my mouth more. It still feels like someone punched me like right here where my upper and lower jaw meet, but as long as I can talk and not cry, I'm gonna consider this a success. Oh, something else that was a success. I did manage to make a delicious dinner last night. I felt bad for just sitting around all day. I'm not a good person when it comes to like sitting around doing nothing. I like to be doing something. Um, but I hadn't gone grocery shopping this week. So I just threw together some pasta and spicy Italian sausage and asparagus. And I made like a little garlic, onion, chili, red pepper flake kind of sauce to go with it. And it was really good. So. That's what I accomplished this week, that and talking to you guys. So now that I've been talking too much, uh, I'm gonna sign off. I still don't know if I'm gonna work this trip on Saturday. I haven't heard anything else about it. Oh, and I don't think I told you guys, the trip, the LA trip that I was trying to swap into to thank one of my coworkers for taking the trip that I was supposed to be on uh, was supposed to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just LA and back. And now it's Saturday and Sunday. So there's an update on that. Um, don't know if I'll be going, but if I do, I'll take you along. So thanks for watching. I just wanted to check in with you guys really quick. Make sure you subscribe. Generally, the videos are happier and more exciting than this one. Uh, if you have questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, post them down below for me or any sort of remedy to get rid of a bad sinus infection. I would appreciate that info. Thanks for coming by, guys.